Today I am super stoked because we are gonna talk about how to get really good actors on a small budget. What are their rates? What are they expecting? Who do I reach out to? All of these questions we are gonna try to answer in this and we are actually gonna include a couple actors that are out there to get their perspective on how to go about reaching out to them and what makes the difference. Let's get into it. So the actors that we're gonna be featuring today is Ben and Shay, and they are both out there working hard and uh, making connections with other filmmakers, working on set, and uh, doing just an awesome job at performing. So we're gonna be interviewing them. So the first thing we're gonna go over is where do you start? You've got a script, you're ready to go, but you need to find some of those lead roles and some of those supporting actors. How do you go about finding these actors? There's a lot of places. You've got Facebook, you've got Instagram. Um, that could be a useful tool to kind of see uh, their demo clips and kind of things that they're doing, hear their voice, stuff like that. You could do casting networks and then Actors Access is really great because you can see like, their resume, their headshots. You can get your little uh, slate shots as well. So that quick little um, two, three second video saying like, hey, I'm Shay, this is what I sound like. This is what I look like, you know? I mean, I've been hearing things about backstage. I personally haven't used that and that could just be my defect. The best place you could probably find a good actor that's gonna do good work and be dedicated is actually find the local acting classes in your area and then talk to the teacher and say, hey, I'm a local filmmaker. I'm looking for actors. Could I sit in on your class? Sit in on the class, watch them work because A, you see how talented they are. And then B, you're gonna see, okay, how do they take direction? Because the teacher's giving them direction. If they can't take direction, they're probably not gonna take it from you either. For me personally, Actors Access is gonna be the top. Uh, top website that I'm using. I'm on Actors Access literally every day. So obviously a couple of those places like Actors Access, Backstage, Instagram are all great places to connect and meet actors. But what about my portfolio as a filmmaker or my script, my story, the passion that I have? Does any of that have any weight at someone considering, an actor considering to do my project for free or for a lower rate? If the filmmaker has a good um, like social media account that they can show me with good clips and good camera work, that definitely makes me want to work with them more because it's more stuff that I can use on my demo reel. That's one of the biggest things for me is if the quality of the work is good, then that makes me want to work with you that much more. And of course, you know, being friendly and seeing how passionate the people are about their project definitely hypes me up a lot more to be able to, you know, this is going to be an amazing project because this person is very, very committed to their work and they're so excited and that gets me excited too. You show that you're gonna put dates in the calendar so that we can respect each other's time. That's huge. Even if I could just see you're passionate and you have a vision for what you're doing, it's huge. I just wanna be inspired by your pitch. If I can tell you love what you're doing, I'm just like, let's go. You know, if you love it, I'm gonna love it. I wanna put that same level of energy into the script that you put into it, showing it to me. As you can see, being passionate about your story, setting some dates and a timeline, having a good script, having a good pitch deck, a mood board, all of these will play into finding good actors with a smaller budget. But what about rates and costs? Like what does an actor cost? What's a typical rate for an actor? Or what are they willing to do passion projects for? Maybe not completely for free, but what's something I could give for them? What are they expecting? What are some of these rates? Everyone's at different stages in their career. Like there was a point when I was so starving for work, that like I would have done whatever for whatever amount. If I was being paid, it was a win. I would say at least 400, 450. Um, and then anything above that is great for a full day. So there's this thing in the industry called residuals, and that's really how a lot of actors make good money, especially actors maybe that you've never heard of, but they're in a cool BMW car commercial and they will get residuals. Basically what that means is they will get paid every time the commercial is aired. Narrative films may be a little bit different, but you can also negotiate that upfront, but it's at least good to know that it exists in the world of acting, commercial production, and narrative. Yeah, residuals are super important. Um, they are definitely 
like, I mean, it's passive income. And at the end of the day, that's something that is so important in life is having some sort of passive income. And that's where residuals come into play. I, I did a commercial for Arctic coolers. So with that, I can't do one for like another thermos company or another like, you know, outdoor cooler company. Like I'm exclusive for that duration of time that they use that commercial. So if I were to not be paid for that, I'm basically for free offering them my exclusivity and taking away my ability for certain projects. So they have to pay for that right. And that's what usage or residuals is. If it's union, there's gonna be set minimums. The other thing is union actors. So as we've seen lately, uh, the two strikes of the Writers Guild and the SAG-AFTRA, uh, they went on strike for a while. And uh, so obviously that was a big deal that was in the news. And uh, you know, we want to follow proper protocols. So what do you do about hiring an actor that's in the union? That's a tough one to answer because I really, really don't want to mislead people with this. Um, okay. So it is my understanding that um, once you're a member of the SAG-AFTRA, um, it's highly, highly frowned upon and even punishable to work on non-union work. If you're a filmmaker wanting to work with a union actor, ask their agent. And then there's the actor's agent. A lot of these actors are represented uh, by a bigger agency, they have an agent, and uh, with bigger projects, you're gonna be negotiating with them. But a lot of times for these smaller narrative passion projects, sometimes the actor is so willing and eager, maybe at a slower time, or they're just wanting to kind of exercise uh, their skill set in a different area outside the commercial world, and they wanna do a narrative project, and they're willing to kind of negotiate a price outside the terms of their agency. So maybe they will do it at a much lower rate. It's something to look into. There's a lot of misconceptions between the actors and the prima donna, the drama queens, and uh, the directors on set in that relationship. And it's sometimes a bit of a dance. Uh, directors have their sort of preference and style, and the actors have their approach uh, to every character and scene. And so what are some of these misconceptions or just the process of go, going about directing an actor and making them feel like um, they can do their job to the fullest extent? It's twofold. Um, part of it, as the actor, as a professional, you have to understand they need to get more than one take. Um, because it may not be your performance's fault at all. It might just be like a fly flew in front of the camera and ruined the shot. But also like on the direction side, when you're behind the camera, it's good to get that positive, like I guess, validation to the actor to say, hey, that was awesome, do that again. I have had directors give me a line reading. We want you to say it like this. And sometimes that does help because they know what they want and they're gonna tell you exactly what they want. And that makes it easier for me. If I know exactly what you want, I can give you exactly what you want. I really love it when a director kind of like can verbalize what it is that they want in a clear way or clear enough for me to understand. And if you don't understand it, ask for clarity because the worst thing is to do another shoot the exact same way and not understand what they want you to do differently. I really appreciate Ben and Shay. Shout out to you guys uh, for joining the conversation with this one. Thanks again for joining us. If you guys wanna check out uh, a little bit more about them, check out their Instagram accounts, uh, get connected with them. They're awesome talent and awesome people. If you guys have any other questions in this context about you know finding some good actors, let me know in the comments. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you in the next one.